Welcome to Magic Mike Live. I'm Chelsea, one of the MCs, and today I'm your VIP guide. I'm gonna take you on an exclusive behind the scenes tour where you can find out how we make the magic happen every single night. Come on, let's go. All right, you guys, here we are in the gorgeous theater. Every single inch of this venue was designed to give you an incredible night out. Even the seats feel good. Ooh, what is that, leather? Oh, every single day, we have an enormous crew that makes sure this theater is spick and span and ready to go, because you know, things get rowdy. <laughs> we are officially backstage, and I know why you're here. Let's go say hi to some of the boys. <laughs> it's a girl. We got my locker, we got my firefighter helmet. Pre-workout. So you can have that explosive energy for two shows. <laughs> Pause that <the> whole <laughs> We are so, so lucky to have this incredible rehearsal space Backstage at Magic Mike, the guys have to warm up every single night. It's crucial for their bodies. And I actually warm up too because I cannot hold a hammy. Not now. Oh, okay. Just get a nice chest, bicep, tricep, ab, pump. Nothing crazy, just a little pump before shows get started. Stretching, yeah, is a must. That's an always, that's a, that's a consistent effort. That's a consistent habit that always plays into whatever it is that I'm doing. Sometimes I'll just get in here and just move around and roll and freestyle and just get warm that way. Oh, hey, nothing to see here. Okay, I know you guys like to watch the guys take off their clothes, but we want to meet the whole team of people responsible for taking care of these costumes and making sure the boys put them on in the first place. Come on, let's say hi. The interesting thing about this show is that a lot of people think that the guys are just taking off clothes. And um, we do have a lot of costume changes. There are four dressers on this show. Everybody has their own uh, thing when they come in. Some that are ironing, some that are getting racks together. So you'll see custom made things in this show. How fast are they getting out of it? Does it need um, snaps? Does it need zippers? You know, those kind of things. You know, when this show, show first opened, it was designed by Marina Toybina, and her vision um, is carried on through what we have now. Even though this show is a, a show that's considered a purchase show, meaning that I go out and shop these things, um, there is an art to that. There is an art to finding the right things for these performers, because even the performers have a vision about what they like and what they see. So we try to create around them, and that's how this show is created. We dress them to get undressed. Yes, that is really the key here. Our show is so unique because we feature so many incredible technical elements. I mean, the dancers fly, it rains on stage, I ride a unicorn, and we couldn't do any of that without this amazing crew. I came up with this act after Alison Falk, who's the co-director with Channing, um, and I had worked together on a pop tour like 10, 12 years ago. They were calling it Air Fuck. Uh, I was like, oh, I just had a funny idea. I said it would be really expensive. But she goes, well, this is the project. Like, if you've got an idea that's like something. And I said, well, what if the stage opened and a bed came up? And she was like, that's great, pitch it. But the main reason I thought of it was because it's, it acts as a, um, crash mat, it's a safety, safety. Now we've got this thing where it kind of, it rises up out of the stage and it interacts in a really, uh, it's subtle, but it's really dynamic. I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if the motor, the motor pulls the guy, the woman's got her hands on items of clothes and the, and the action of being pulled up in the air pulls off the clothing. It's kind of a living apparatus, but the main reason I made it is to preserve the performer's bodies and to create the opportunity for lots of different pictures in the air. So the operator is literally the person on the end of the electricity. There's a yellow box in the background and they stand up there during the show and they control the up and the down and the speed and the timing of when a performer rises or comes down. So it is a complete dance 
it's a trio. There are two performers in the air that the audience sees, but what the audience doesn't see is the third person who is dancing with them. We hope you loved your behind the scenes tour at Magic Mike Live. I'm Chelsea, we'll see you soon.